Yes, sir. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite show, favorite show, Get a Bucket. I'm your host, Trey, and as usual, I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. Whole time, I got to say this. I won't even go talk about it, but I feel like I need to talk about it real quick. It's a little it's a little selfish, but damn it, we here now. Y'all peep my Los Angeles Sparkle jersey. NECA, NECA Guma K, you feel me? And I got my Diana Taurasi one, too. I, ooh, I just got it. And then I got my Brittany Griner one on the way with the Natasha Howard jump coming in. And I'm happy that this one came in. Because my Sparks is playing the Mystics. That's right. Me and my boy Jabari are going to be out there watching the game. You know what I mean? Something slight near courtside. You might see us on the screen. So um, I just had to throw that out there, that little plug in there before we talk about uh, some NBA. But now that we got the WNBA situation, we won't talk about that no more. Uh, fellas, how's everybody doing? And I got to start it off with Jabari and Nick since y'all have come on to the show for the first time i greatly do appreciate that fellas and then emitab you know you've been on the show a couple of times so you know we we've seen you before welcome again but uh jabari how's everything going with you oh man everything's good man thank you for having me on the show i'm really excited to be here and chop it up with y'all boys now i appreciate you joining brother i appreciate you joining nick hey ladies and gentlemen i just got to say listen nick can get a little bucket himself on the court i've actually seen him all right he not bad Okay, got a couple little nicknames out there on the court. When you got a nickname, that means you actually mean something on the court. I'm just letting you know that. So I, I'm out here saying he can book you a little bit. But um, I, I'm I'm still rooting for my boy Chris. We got to beat y'all at some point in time, Nick, man. But how's everything else going with you? Um, I'm doing great. Uh, first of all, thank you listeners out there. Get you somebody who's going to compliment you like Trey just did. Because <laughs> he, he is, is the greatest comment, even though it's a downright lie. Man. And I am listen there's bad and then there's like i didn't know you existed bad i am that level <laughs> i appreciate nah, you nah. Right? Here, here, the positive here, path, but here, here's the thing though here, here's the thing though like i and i'm so pissed off because i've recorded three of your games nick and like so like i've watched three times you play and every time you were consistent like are you like a superstar studded scorer no but like are you a consistent player who who, who is honestly y'all second best player yeah like I, I I felt comfortable saying that on your team. So again, and I'm I'm so pissed that I do not have the footage to back it up. But there was three instances. Blame it on the Wi-Fi. I promise y'all, because I had it all recorded. But not I, I it's not cap. It's not cap. Because it was it was that 24 hour too, where you was getting a little boogie woogie out there. So I, I yeah, not I got got I got to tip my cap to you. Tell I appreciate that. Hey. I ain't seen you hoop, man. I ain't seen you hooping. You've been ducking. You've been it's ducking. been a while, man. It's been a while. So we got to get out there, you know. All right, that's, I'm gonna hold you to it. It's recorded. I'm letting you know that it's recorded. Yeah, I gotta come out there and show show y'all boys a little something, something myself, man. I was trying to spare you since you was a first time with Jabari. You don't want them problems. <laughs> I see you got on pit. Listen, don't make me sit up here and bring out my Blue Devils. You know how we do on get a bucket. That's right. We got them championships. Didn't we, didn't we beat y'all last time though? This year? I'm bringing up old shit for like what you bringing up this old year? Shit for? This like, year? What you bring old <laughs> the new season. It's a new season. We got a whole ring old guys coming in. Like wait, 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 but isn't the ring old? Why are you bringing up old stuff for, bro? That's <laughs> all right, all right, I, all right. I ain't got my Duke stuff on right now. This is <laughs> all right, all right, man. You know, you know it's H2P till we die out here, man. <laughs> I see it's gonna be a little, I see it could get a little spicy on the episode today. So we gotta we just go ahead and get right on into it. Normally, I do try to get a little gab trivia. But I think we just go ahead and get right on into the episode because it sounds like it's going to be a good one. All right. So we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we got the final division to talk about. And it is, in fact, the central one. Now, we got to bring up this team first. Because um, the last time I was on here, I brought them up last and they got they got trashed a little bit, so I want to get them out of the way now. No disrespect to y'all boys, though. Okay, no disrespect to y'all boys. But this Piston squad, Chris, if you could give me two names, I just need two names, bro. Who the future duo of this team? Because they got a whole bunch of they got a whole bunch of talent on this squad now. They got the Thompson twin, uh, they got K, they got Jaden, like you got James Wiseman, Jalen Duran. Um like, how, I don't know how you feel about Isaiah Stewart. Like, they got a couple of names out there. Though. Young, boy. uh, young boys. I'm he's not, old, man. He's <laughs> old, man. Like, he's old, man. Bro. We got, yeah, I can't give him nah, that. Nah, nah, nah. He's getting the bucket. I'm not, putting, I'm not throwing him out there. To, tell me you ain't never say that man's last name, bro, and scream. Nah. 
No, I, 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 I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. Bogdanovich and Joe Harris are gonna be two key vets for them because they can easily get flipped this season to be on the championship team. I think the Heat may want to consider making a move with the Detroit Pistons if they listen to because that's that's about 37 points a game right there between two people, and they're quite efficient too. I'm just saying. But Chris, right. if you got two names though, if you got two names from that Pistons team, a young, young from the young boys, who you got as the duo? K and Dunn. Okay, what's your main reason why you say Cade and Duran? God, hey, gotta have a team start off at what? Point guard, a floor gym. Okay? And you need a big man to, to help you help you ship it out. So I I I say I do like Ivy, but I'm from the old school. Start with the point guard. Start with the big man. You feel and you feel and you feel everything else. Everything else after that. So. It's crazy though, because I mean, Jaden Ivy's also a point guard too. So I mean, you say point guard, I get you. K six eight, Jaden six four, but he got a lot of explosiveness. You know what I'm saying? He athletic as hell. He also come from good stock, not from Duke, but his mama did play in a professional. So I mean, it's not like he no dummy. Um. So, I mean, I don't know. Like, we get – like, Jabari, it, it, you shook your head, so I'm assuming you agree with Chris on it should be Cade and Duran. Wiseman gets no love to, by the way. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, that's fine. That's Nick, that's aggressive. That's wild. You look like you had a rave concert right now. My boy, just – I feel you, though, okay? That is that is tough. Why? So, like, all right, can you can, can y'all tell me then uh, – Jabari, tell me why you don't say Jaden Ivey and and James Wiseman the most. Like, what's your biggest trepidation for them too? Mm, like you said, it is it is a group of young guys, and we're kind of looking for those two. But, um, you know, I I agree I agree with your boy, man. You know, you get those. I just it's not it's not so much that I wasn't picking them. Mm -hmm. it's, I really agree with his reasons. It's more that who he picked, I can and what he explained, I can strongly agree with that and see. A team being built from that for a duo okay and we okay. See it work you know it, it works in other places okay see other okay teams build teams like that okay all right uh tep how you feeling about this duo bro you 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 liking you liking chris and uh jabari's duo yeah yeah i feel like those are the only two that really could be stars i think jade is going to be really good like jade and ivy i think he'll be really good but like if you want to we're talking about winning championships, like right. it has to come through Cade and Durant. Uh, and I got Stewart over Wiseman. Like hey yo, all right, we're being yeah, Wiseman, Wiseman, I haven't seen him play like basketball for a minute. You ain't seen him last year? He's yeah. Memphis. Y'all ain't watched him last year? I watched him last year. I watched him last year. How about you Raymond mean? Green said get off the court. Now I'm talking about on the Pistons though. Yeah. My buddy gave me 13, eight, a block. Like I I like a little more than a block, but still in 25 minutes, that ain't bad. Like, I don't know. To me, I think Jade, oh, I don't know. Like during is tough though. Nick, you shook your head aggressively at Wiseman. So like, what's your biggest reason why you don't like them? So I watched a lot of Wiseman because I <clears throat> I was really interested in that Warriors young core back when they had all them. And why it's not about his stats he does get buckets wiseman can get buckets he's long he's athletic uh he can get those sort of lob passes the problem is defensively he's a, more than a turnstile he gets fouls he, he he's not a good run protector he looks he looks lost he looks like you threw an eight-year-old into like james wiseman's body and just threw him out there on the nba court it's it's like i feel like he clearly needed more like to be able to play some games in college so mm -hmm. badly because he still looks like he's a high schooler that got thrown out there um mm -hmm. and i'm a and, and to your duo question listen i'm a huge Cade uh believer i think mm -hmm. Cade is going to be a future superstar in this league i still believe it even past the injury um he's got he's an amazing playmaker he's an amazing scorer um he's got defensive upside um, I still believe, and Jaden Ivey, honestly, I think is the perfect backcourt partner for him. He's he's got all the the quick twitch 
athleticism that Cade maybe lacks, even though yeah. Cade's no slouch in that department. Um, Ivy is he, he's a he is an absolute dog. He um, and he can and he's starting to sort of develop a shot. He's gotten better at, since he was at Purdue. Um, mm -hmm. So that's those two. I think can be a backcourt that might might torture the NBA for a decade coming in. A decade is aggressive. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. I'm surprised no one said anything about the Thompson twin, one of them boys. Because hey, I'm telling you, at six oh, seven, he might be able to. One of my boys is trying to tell me if you might be able to play him at the point guard spot. He would prefer playing him at the point guard spot. I personally like Cade or Jaden right now. But, I mean, the way they attack downhill, Cade can shoot a little bit better possibly. Or he could, he, you know, I take that back because he's also pegged to be a shooter too a little bit. But maybe Cade's a little bit better. Either way, they got a bunch of options out here. I think Cade might be the favorite. Um, Jalen Duran, I'm not going to say it's a surprising answer. I thought someone was going to say more wise than he. But like I, I, I get you, Jalen Duran was a, a solid little young big. Uh, I think someone tried to tell me he they remind he reminds him of like a Dwight Howard a little bit. And I'm like, I, I, I mean, I kind of see where you're going with it. Dwight was a little bit more dominant, but I, I can't be mad at Cade and and and, and Jalen Duran. Those are two good answers. Okay, I, I, I can respect that. I can respect that one there. But now, nah, uh, fellas, I greatly do appreciate this, though. Uh, we definitely got to do this again. I apologize, too, for having to go as long as it did. I tried to keep it between an hour, an hour and a half, hour and a half being the longest. So I do apologize. But uh, do y'all have anything? Do you guys have anything you want to say before we close up shop? All right. Well, look, I greatly appreciate all of y'all for coming on, taking the time out of y'all busy day. Um, and, you know, like, Javari, I'll see you on sunday uh it's, yeah sunday um chris i'll see you whenever you get back you know nick probably on saturday or sun or, or monday for hoops temp um i possibly might crash on friday i don't know i'll hit you up though but like <laughs> but yeah i'll talk to y'all boys later i greatly appreciate this though definitely y'all see them sometime on the show too what'd you say i said i appreciate you having me on oh not a problem not a problem but with that, we'll all take care. So hope you all have a good one. Please like, subscribe, comment, tell anyone who's anyone about the show. My name is Trey. I'm the host of Get a Bucket. Hope you all have a good one. Take care. That's a bet. All right. I oh, I did not know you guys were still here. As, as, as you can see, we're at the back end of the show. No pun intended, but look, hope you all enjoyed it. And before you go, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow the IG account, share the content to anybody who's anybody. And most importantly, leave your thoughts and comments below. But I got to go back and play Buddy in 2K, so let me unmute him real quick. Excuse me. Hey, boss, I'm back. Nah, you better catch this word. You know we get buckets around here,